All right, it is carving fusion t challenge time. So what this is going to be, this is going to be a gnome. Okay, this is just a block of cedar. Well, actually here, no sense lying. This is five inches tall by two inches wide. It's just a cedar block. It's a cedar. I found a longer piece on the beach on Vancouver Island and uh, we cut it up. I cut it up. So this is going to be a gnome. This is going to be a base for the gnome. And then we're going to have uh, some mushrooms on the base. And we'll figure out what we're going to do with the base um, later. I'm not sure if this is going to be a one series video or two series or whatever it is. So we'll see what happens. So carving this gnome, there's you can do basic gnomes. I'm going to, this one is a just carved Rob gnome that he gave me. He's great at him. He's got um, Studio on the Lake is good at gnomes too. Both YouTube channels. Um, Rob's got his uh, arms tucked under the beard. So you don't have to make hands. He's got boots. It's like he's kind of got like a rain jacket on. Um, what I like about Rob's is I normally haven't taken the hat in. Like I haven't carved the hat in so it's so narrow. I would just leave the hat bulky. But I think it's the better way to do it is make it narrow. Because there you can see. Now look at the size of that nose. Look at that nose. Rob. So that's how you get the nose to pop out. So. And the feet too, so you undercut the beard and you make the beard look a lot thicker too by doing that. Just cutting it cutting it in a lot deeper. So mine's going to be a little bit taller than Rob's. Um, Rob, I just asked him, he is going to be making another gnome video because he knows about this challenge. So he's going to be making a gnome video. Hopefully it's out the same day um, that I'm going to put this video. This Like it's it's Sunday here today, I'm going to have this video out next uh, Saturday. Hopefully just uh, Rob has time to do it too. So you guys might be able to learn a bit more from his video on this matter. Okay, so what I'm going to do is start uh, carving the hat down, I guess. Rob measures his, like he has formulas. He, like an inch here, an inch here, and then an inch here or something. I don't, I just kind of free for all, free for all it. So, but I will say, when you got a piece like this, right, the best part to put your nose, like your your nose is in the center of the piece because then you don't have to carve if you have your nose you don't have to carve all that wood away just believe me when you're carving a wood spirit that's your best angle where my thumb is that's your best angle to carve a nose it's it's easiest to get it to pop off okay just like that guy i carved this one for rob too this one's carved out of birch i, I carved it quickly and just said it's for rob because he gave me the birch okay so i'm going to start carving here Okay, so let's um, talk about this challenge here. First off, I want to say um, I'm not the best at carving gnomes, like with the feet and stuff like that. So Just Carve Rob, like I said earlier in the video, is agreeing to make a video, and his video will be out the same day as this video. I will have a link to his description in his vi for his video, How to Carve a Gnome Like He Does, um, in the description below. And sorry, I get confused talking, especially doing the uh, voiceovers. So this challenge here is... Um, it's basically based for our carving or our Facebook group, Carving Fusion World of Wood Carvers Original. Okay, so I'm going to be posting lots for the challenge inside the group. If you're not in there, you can join it. You just got to answer a few questions, and uh, you'll be accepted. Just say it's for the curve. Say it's for the Carving Fusion Challenge, so people know that. Like, why do you want to be in this group? For the Carving Fusion Challenge, so you can put your pictures and stuff in there. Okay, so that's over with. But if you're not Lots of people nowadays don't want to be uh, on Facebook, and I really don't blame them. Um, but so if you're not on Facebook, you can always send me an email at CanadianOneDude at gmail.com, okay, with your picture of your finished piece. Um, so it's going to start when this video is out. I think it's Saturday. I think it will be April 2nd. And I'm going to leave this one running for a while. It's going to be three months, so people have a long time. To, the weather's starting to get better. That Some people can only carve outdoors. So we'll make it, the end day will be August 1st, okay? And then a week after that, or sorry, yeah. So the end day is August 1st. Start day is April 2nd. End day is August 1st. You, if you're not finished your carving by then, well, you, you have three months to do it. And then I'll do a live on august 6th so that will be the giveaway saying the winners um carving fusion we don't have like the uh, first place second place or third place or people's choice i just myself i don't i don't really like people's choice because it it 
or having a first place, second place, or third place, because then it gives you know there there doesn't need to be a, everybody's a winner that enters, right? So everybody that enters is, has a chance to win. There's going to be some great prizes. I'm going to donate my piece. It, this whole piece that I'm going to be working on is going to be donated as one of the prize with some carving fusion stickers. I'm going to be buying a Dremel 4000 as a prize. Um, some loyal members out there, you guys, if everybody, anybody wants to chip in, it's muchly appreciated. I'll have my PayPal listed below. If you don't do PayPal, um, <clears throat> I do online banking. So just um, send me a message. Uh, I'll leave my email listed below. So it's muchly appreciated for people chipping in so we can so I can buy better prizes. Um, I will have a prize for all the people. I'll have a wood spirit or something for all the people. I'll have a wood spirit and that extra little gnome that I did for all the people that are chipping in. So there'll, there'll be a draw on the same night on uh, August 6th for everybody that chipped in. So it just kind of motivates you a bit. And um, I don't I, – like – People that chip in money, I don't spend a dollar on myself. This costs me to do these gives, giveaways. It costs me more money than basically anything else. So the chip in would be um, helping out. Chipping in would be muchly appreciated. So uh, once again, I'll, I'll have my PayPal listed below in the description, or I'll leave my email listed below in the description. You can do online uh, e-transfer if you want. Um, so like I said, this is just sped up three times the speed me doing this um taking the hat down a lot narrow i'm not really it's not really a tutorial gnome video that's what rob has agreed to do make it more of a tutorial video for people that haven't carved a gnome yet <clears throat> but you can make it a very simple gnome it doesn't need to be like this and trust me anybody can carve it anybody can carve them they're they're very simple to carve um so if you never would carve before get a piece of wood try it out it's fun. You'll love it. If I can do it, you can do it. That's for sure. So, um, this challenge. So it, I don't know if I've already said it. This is my problem with voiceovers. I don't know if I've already, if I'm going to be repeating myself. But um, so it has to be a wood spare. Uh, sorry, a gnome. Okay, you can paint it. You can do whatever you want to do. If it doesn't have to be a full 3D one like this, you can carve it onto a piece of board and paint it. But it's got to have. I'm going to say it's got to have three mushrooms, okay? And it's got to, well, even if you carve it on a board like a 2D carving, you see how this is a full 3D carving? Even if it's on a board, it still has to have a base, okay? Your board has to be self-standing. So you have to make a base for the board. How's that? Um, it can't be just wood burned. It needs to be carved and then you can paint after the carving or whatever. Okay. So you need to see depth inside there. Um, so the, what the gnome you have to have, it has to be fastened to a mount to your base. And then three mushrooms can be, have to be found fastened to your base too. But on the board that you're carving, you can carve the mushrooms on the board. And then once again, make a base for the board. The board has to be self-standing. Okay, so does that make sense? And you can put whatever you can put whatever you want to um, put on it. I I got a bunch of surprises, Big L. Yeah, I'm not just doing the mushrooms and the the gnome. I might be doing some other things. So my next video is going to be working on the mushrooms and the base. Okay, so that's um, this is going to be a two video series. So, like, you know, if you want to put carved flowers, put flowers in them, go ahead. You know, but once again, one gnome, three mushrooms. Mushrooms can be fantasy, everybody. Mushrooms can be very simple to make. You know, like, I'm going to show you guys how simple they can be to make on my next video. So, this video is going to be out Saturday. I'll try my best to get the, the mushroom video and the stand and fastening everything to the base out on Sunday if I have time to do it this week. Um, what day is today? Today is Tuesday, so I'm doing this. I carved this gnome two days ago. I just haven't had time to, to do the voiceover, but so it's Tuesday now, so this video will be on my uh, Facebook. It will be on my waiting uh, private, and I'll, oh, sorry, on my YouTube, and it will be released uh, Saturday morning. So we love to see 
the very my favorite carvings are the very very beginning carvers we got some real pros in the group and yeah they're fun they're fun to see but i like seeing the very beginning carvings the best i really do <clears throat> and um i think just carve rob i'm not confirmed to this yet i'll confirm it on my next video i think he might donate his gnome and his base and his mushrooms to a winner too but don't hold me to that he did i don't know if he confirmed it with me or not so it'd be super cool if he did anyways i would obviously pay him to uh ship it out but um that's rob's a huge huge um member of the curving fusion community and uh guys if you don't know ben's studio on the lakes uh youtube channel i started carving more gnomes after i watched one of ben's videos because he uh tucked the um hands underneath the beard so that's where I learned that from. And then he did some painting on the hat. So I learned that from uh, Ben's channel too. It can be a Christmas gnome. It can be an Easter gnome. It can be whatever kind of gnome you want it to be. But it's got to be a gnome. It cannot be a wood spirit. Okay, let me clarify that right now. It's got to have a gnome hat. It's got to have a gnome nose. And it's got to have a gnome beard. It cannot be a wood spirit. Because on some of our last ch our challenges here, people would be like, curving a wood spirit and then saying it's it's supposed to be a monster or something but no it's not a monster you've carved a wood spirit and you're calling it a monster so let's be fair everybody try your best i know you can do it so there you go it's kind of on scale it's great having rob's uh carved little guy here to uh copy how much longer is this voice over okay so let's you guys if you want to get a pen and paper it's going to start when this video is released. It ends. No more entries. It ends August 1st. And I'm going to have a live giveaway for the winners. We're just going to draw the, the names out of a hat. We're going to draw the names the name out of a hat for the people that chipped in. The money to buy better prizes. And then we're going to draw the name. We'll have, uh, I don't know how many winners. The more people that chip in, the more winners we can have, right? So it doesn't it doesn't matter if your gnome looks like a pile of donkey shit, okay? I would much rather see a gnome carved looking like a pile of donkey. Don't carve a pile of donkey shit and call it a gnome. But I would much rather see very beginner's carvings in this. So then once I, on the Facebook group and people that email me their pictures... Then I make a video and I call it um, Carving Fusion Challenge, World of Wood Carvers, and I, I show the world a YouTube video of all you guys' carvings. And then, um, so it's you can get more information about the challenge if you're in the Facebook group. Once again, it's called Carving Fusion, World of Wood Carvers. We have a great uh, group. I think there's like 6,000 members now. Um, the admins in that group do a fantastic job. Yes, there's lots of rules in that group. But it's very not spammy. So basically, people don't share their YouTube videos in that group. Um, I do once in a while. Well, because it's Carving Fusion group, and I'm basically I'm Carving Fusion. So you got to break the rules once in a while. Um, and it's just um, a very supporting group. So that's another good thing to be part of the group too. Okay, this voiceovers because you can share your get ideas in the group. Okay, sorry, I thought that voiceover was done, <clears throat> but it's not, excuse me. Um, one th if, if anybody's friends with Gene Messer on Facebook or on the YouTube, I'm calling Gene out because I'd love to see Gene do these, this challenge because Gene is awesome at doing little characters like this. I would have no great better pleasure to see Gene do it. Uh, he could send me a message on uh, email or whatever he wants to do, but Gene Messer. I would love to see you do this challenge. I know, I know you could do it for sure. So um, here's uh, one of those cheap Japanese burrs, the three cutter. I'm just doing the undercuts here. Um, but what I was also saying about them, the group on um, Facebook, Carving Fusion, World of Wood Carvers Original, is basically a Dremel carving um, group um, for beginners. But there's some real pros in there, trust me. Um, there's such a... It's such a great supporting group, and I'm going to encourage people to uh, share their pictures in the group of as they're working and, and progressing on their piece so people can get ideas and stuff like that. You know, because you got the base, so you're going to have the gnome, you're going to have three mushrooms, and then you can put whatever whatever else you want on the um, base too. I would, I myself, 
would love to have a prize called the most creative. But, you know, then, then you're taking away, you're making somebody more creative than somebody else. You know, you're making one, one better than the other. So I just like everybody to be equal too. So, you know, I think it's best not to do that. But I would like to, but it's just, I don't think it's fair. Um, there's a cut saw taper burn. Now what I'm doing is I'm uh, satting down all my undercut lines and just going around cleaning it up. So yeah, let's just keep it. Um, the more people that chip in, I'll show every single, I'll show exactly how much money I got and it's exactly how much money I spent on prizes. For sure. So, because I'm not, I'm not about uh, making the money and stuff like this with this stuff. It's just, um, it's just to help people get going and encourage people. It's fun. You get to see funny, weird things. I love seeing funny things, everybody. So don't be afraid to put something on, funny on your gnome or on your base. You know, like mix it up. Be silly. Who cares? That's what it's about, right? Just having fun. You don't have to be carved like a wicked, real fantasy-looking gnome. What is a real-looking gnome? Tell me. You tell me. I don't think there is a real-looking gnome, is there? Real, your real looking gnome is what your mind says your real looking gnome is supposed to be like. Does that make sense? You just have fun because that's all this challenge is about is just having fun. So who knows? Who knows how many winners are going to be? Like I said, I'm donating a Dremel 4000 brand new. Um, I'm donating this carving. I'm donating a woods, a nice carved wood spirit and the other gnome i don't know if i've showed that other gnome yet but i'm donating that too for the people that chip in i'm busy i'm busy i got like four on-site carves i gotta do uh my buddy bob you guys know f bob on vancouver island he's built like a barbecue stand it's like a barbecue table thing little like a outdoor thing so he's got like douglas fir poles set up and it's all wood and he wants me to go over there and spend three days or four days carving it. So I'm, I got that. I got a big, huge wood spirit I got to carve. Like a massive, like a 10-foot wood spirit here at Ladner. And then I, got, I think I got to carve another one on a cliff in uh, the next town over. I don't have that person's number, though. I, may, I don't know if he still wants me to do it or not. But So I got all those coming up and another one. And I still have to do my chainsaw carvings at my tent to uh and i got the bees don't forget about the bees okay so i'm i'm happy with this little guy i think he's not perfect i know his legs are a little bit skinny here like i took off too much wood on each side that's okay it's, it's uh real nice to have just carved rob's um replica here to, to to follow for sure i was just talking with just carved rob and yes he's gonna try and make a video because he's He's the gnome. He's a gnome again, pro. So, but what he did, he drew it out on the square. Like I drew it out on the the corner piece, like a wood spirit. But he drew it out on the square side, so you can see like your your thing thing here. I'll just send you a little video clip of what he just sent me. But um, it's a lot easier if you go over and follow his video if you've never carved a gnome before. But what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna I'm not gonna film, but I'm gonna carve a gnome out of this piece. Just a basic gnome. It's not going to have any, like, it's just going to be so basic. And because you guys, you don't have to carve the gnomes with the arms and the feet and the little tucked over hat. Okay. You just have, they're simple, basic to carve and they're fun to carve. So that's why I'm doing this challenge because anybody can do it. And if you don't think you can do it, well, you're lying to yourself because if I can do it, you can do it. Right. So, um, Okay, and it, this is not just for Dremel. You can do chainsaw carving too, right? So I might as well show you guys how I got this drawn on. So there's his nose, here's his hat. So there's a center point. So all I'm going to do now is taper this wood so it's like a point up here, right? And give him a hat. And then uh, down here will just be a mustache and no feet or nothing. Just all mustache, all hair, all the way around. Just a hat and a nose and you got a gnome, okay? That right there, my friends, 
I would call an ohm. See the way the hair comes all the way down the back? Your gnomes do not need to have legs or arms. You guys, everybody, remember this channel is based on the beginning wood carver. Anybody can carve this. I'm telling you right now, you can carve it. Even if yours looks a hundred times worse than this, still enter the challenge. You're gonna, there's going to be some great prizes. We've got such a great community, and I hope uh, people chip in for the prizes. Okay? So if your gnome's worse than this, Trust me, enter it. There's no negative comments here. There's no constructive criticism, right? So if you can do it, do it. So now I got to figure, I guess I'll pull out the wood burner and uh, paint and paint this guy up. Yep. Okay, so you can look here what Rob did with his wood burner. So he burnt the mustache and the beard in. He burnt the boots in, the, the, like the sole parts of the boots, and he burnt in uh, around the arms and under the hat and under there. It just gives it more highlights, and it stops your paint from traveling. So um, I'm going to wood burn this guy, the same kind of same style uh, just carved Rob did. This is Amazon wood burner, okay? It's in my Amazon store listed below. It's working good for me so far. Um, here it is. It's got a big, thick handle, so you can heat this sucker up super hot and it doesn't get hot okay, it comes with this stand too so um, I'm gonna fire up the wood burner and start doing some wood burning yep sorry I thought I was filming but I wasn't so I got the wood burner set up I'm just gonna kind of copy what just right just car carve Rob's does so you can see on the back there where he does the arms in the back here so let's do this one and I'm not gonna film too much wood burning because I need to basically more or less concentrate doing it so I don't butcher this piece okay so underneath the jacket and the wood burning so when you're doing painting it does act like a let's see acts like a ditch for the paint so the paint say if this is going to be blue and these are going to be green it won't travel it helps stop the paint from uh, running So I don't know if I said it already, if I was filming or not, but um, the other one, I'm not going to do wood burning because you don't have to have a wood burner. You can do it without a wood burner. Not every, not every beginner has a wood burner, but I'll say one thing. Wood burning sure helps your, um, if you're going to do little characters like this, it sure helps a lot. My boots aren't perfect. Don't care. You, 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 you try and show me a perfect gnome. They're millions of years old, so let's burn inside his uh, soles here. So the next thing is, I guess, which, uh, come on, Jordan, here you go. This is why I, I'm not a very good wood burner, because I don't have the patience to be a good wood burner. <laughs> okay, so his beard, his must, yeah, so this would be his beard, hair, face, whatever it is. Got a mustache there. So we'll put a deep burn beside that. And then just bring your hairs down. I don't know. So this cedar, when I was carving that other gnome, man, this is burner's not really working too great. I should sharpen it, make it the tip more pointy. But it doesn't matter. Show me a perfect beard. Show me a perfect gnome beard. Okay, so I'm going to get this done and I'll be back. Okay, so the burning's done. So I just hit it with some sandpaper. Clean it up a bit, any grit you want, I don't care. Some people use wire brush, like a studio in the lake use uh, wire brush stuff. All right, this is definitely the best gnome I've ever made. I think, maybe not, who knows. 
Okay, so let's get on to painting this uh, guy. So I looked on uh, Google, I typed in gnomes and what's like summer colors. So basically blue, green, and red, or whatever you want to do. So you can get dollar store stuff. This stuff's a bit more expensive. This is uh, something blue, ultramarine blue. Um, my favorite color, hooker's green. Yeah, it's hooker's green, isn't it? Yeah, hooker's green. And we got some red here. Um, the mustache and beard, I will paint it kind of like a white and gray. So I'm going to start with, uh, J uh, the pants, my favorite color. Let's start off with my color, favorite color here. Just carve Rob does water down his paints. I don't because, well, I just don't. And then we'll paint, uh, his boots brown, I guess. So anyways. I want to get these uh this painted. I'm gonna let for each coat to dry pretty good before I uh, paint another color. And then uh, we'll talk about this this gnome here. I'm just gonna paint his hat red or whatever color, and this stuff uh, white and uh, black, so it's like an old beard. Yeah, no, I know I just carved Rob when he he says he doesn't know if people like painting videos because, well, you feel kind of bored when you're doing it. And you don't, you just want to concentrate on painting, and you, you basically you don't want to talk when you're painting because you don't want to screw it up. I guess I don't know. I'll get this done. One thing I might say is you might want to do a white or gray primer coat first. I just don't have the patience. I signed this little guy. I also put a hole in the bottom. So what I'm gonna, I'm gonna dowel it to the base, right? So remember to have that hole. If you want to dowel, you can, or just do whatever you want to do. I don't know. I think it's a fun challenge, Jordan, and anybody can do it. So there's his pants. Done. And then we'll move on to the blue jacket. Okay, so basically all the paint is pretty well dry on this guy. There's going to be some touch-ups, not a big deal. Um, like that, you can see right there, I missed a spot. So here's this more basic one. So I got some black and white paint here. Um, so I think basically I'm going to have to find a color to paint this, uh, to paint the nose. See there, I'm just mixing the black, black, white, to get some gray color. Oops, I guess I should paint inside the mold just black. Because this one, I carved the beard hairs, right? So you can use like the Dremel cutter. I don't know, uh, aluminum cutting bit. I don't know what it is. You can use anything you want to, to cut your beard hairs in. Or your mustache hairs. Then even if you want, you can go back later and sand this guy. To get some high points. Get some uh, color of the wood showing again. Put some black in here. Kind of more black up around the hat thing. The gnome hat. Let's get some more white and some spots. It's just, it's just so, so simple and so easy. Yeah, it might be a little bit tricky for the very beginning carvers, but you guys will get it. You know, it will come to you. Give him some more weight on the, uh, 
moustache on the the gnome stash. So there you go. It's just a simple carving. I mean, uh, painting. Let's get a better light happening here. Okay, same for this. Same for this guy. Just I gotta take it more. Take it easy, Jordy. It should be no nothing complicated, no pressure. Just have fun. That's that's what this is about. Just for everybody to challenge himself to try something new and have fun when you're doing it, and possibly win a good prize. Okay, let's get some more white in here. There, that's it really you can get around back but this piece is going to be uh, screw, uh, fastened down to the base so nobody's going to be looking at the back of it that part there I'll touch it up after I'll go around and do touch ups there so simple easy peasy Japanesey Good enough for the chicks. I right, beep. Okay. Lots of paint left on this one. I can even throw in a paintbrush. So this is what we got. So now I'm just going to let sit and let the uh, paint dry. And then uh, Mod Podge it. I'll wait till tomorrow. It's not the next day, but all the paint is dry. So what I'm going to do is I got this Mod Podge here. Uh, mix it up really good. Put it in this little container. And, well, I'm going to Mod Podge it. This is like a clear coat. You have to be careful, as I'm being a total hypocrite, putting on this Mod Podge because you don't want to put too much on. Because then it won't um, dry perfectly clear. See if we can get some better lighting here. And um, yeah, put her on. This stuff's pretty cheap to use too. It's safe. It's you know you don't need to do it outside. You can do it indoors in your little art hobby room. And I just put it on pretty quick, and then I'll go over it. Make sure this stuff does dry pretty quick. So you gotta kind of keep on top of where you've already done. So that looks pretty good to me. And um, okay, so I'll do this one. I'll do this one. And I'll talk, I'll come back. And we'll talk about um, the challenge. Okay, so that's going to be a wrap. Why I like this Mod Podge is water based. You know, you see, I had this container filled up with it. You can clean it with some warm water. You can clean your brush, and it's good to go for the next one. This Mod Podge is still a little bit um, wet. You can see kind of it's white right there where my thumb is. and uh, But yeah, it gives you some gloss. You can get that shiny, matte, or satin Mod Podge. So the next video is going to be, this is going to be a two-video series. Next video is going to be um, this base here. Well, first of all, I'm going to carve three mushrooms. I'm going to carve three mushrooms to put on this base. Um, I'm going to do it off camera, but I'm going to, take the make the edge of this base round here so i can make it grassy and stuff like that so it'll be this no and on the base with some mushrooms so that's it everybody we'll see you on the next one car infusion over and out